Hello. Hey, everybody. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that usually ends sometime between now and midnight. Yeah, about an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> How are you all doing? How is everybody? Got a few people already in. Yeah. Um, Got Smokey, Silver Ogre, Davina Duckworth, Krimlon. Krimlon's been here a while. He has. Hello, Krimlon. Hello, Davina. I'm just trying to figure out if I set the rum my Rumble stream up correctly. Uh, I'm not sure I did. Uh, it is showing it is not connected. Oh. Well, I'll have to see if I can fix that. So let's keep talking while I try to do that. <laughs> well, it's been quite a week in hockey. We've had uh, yeah. we've had line brawls. We've had a ton of fights. We've got video of all of it. I, th I think I've got seven fights lined up oh, wow. uh, video-wise. And then we've got multiple views of the, uh, the crazy New Jersey Devils and New York Rangers rematch where McDermott finally got to take on Rempe. So. It was the tribute to some a historic line brawl he had from 2012 yes it was fun i have to say 152 penalty minutes in the first two seconds of the game yeah who said that hockey isn't as fun as it used to be <laughs> i even showed it on uh yelling at park cars on wednesday night as, right, uh, yeah. as a teaser since we were on rumble only on that one yeah so let me see if i can figure out why that didn't work and I'll do my level best to fix that because there are some people waiting, apparently. Yeah, um, yeah so meantime, Matt Rempe Fight Club. Yeah. The guy's now played three times against the Devils and has played less than five minutes yeah. and has been ejected from all three games. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why that's not working because it says end lives... Uh, Oh, I think I've done it now because nothing's working. Oh, there we well, go. that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna try stop. I don't it. think we can edit it while we're no broadcasting. Oh, it's your rumble. I can't. In fact, it's gone away now. Go away now. Go away now. I'll just have to say uh, in the. I'll, I'll have to put a note in the chat and say sorry, not working. Uh, go yeah. to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Go to YouTube or, yeah. So while you're doing that, I'll show what I'm having tonight. I've got a brand new bottle of Sazerac rye that I found this afternoon. So I'm going to probably have a pour of that. And uh, what was found a, another little bottle of uh, Buffalo Trace today. So Ooh, pretty good nice. day overall. Very good. Yeah, I'm just doing an old, an old favorite, uh, the Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig, uh, the small batch. The small batch. So... Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. And cheers to now. the chat. It's funny the chat worked there. Mm-hmm. Because it's set up. It just did not uh, connect. So I, uh, I'm i just going to find your Rumble uh, stream, and I'm going to direct people to that. Uh, so Alrighty. Uh, yours is working, so that's good. So I'll say go here, and then I will end it after a few minutes. Yeah, you must have just copied and pasted something incorrect. I guess so. I blame the... T I don't blame me. I blame the machine. It's not <laughs> my fault. <laughs> yes, uh, so things are getting uh, pretty close to done. Getting couple there. A couple of things to fill up in the playoffs, but pretty close. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny how the East and the West look. The East has almost all the X's clinching and hardly any eliminations the west has all the eliminations and very few clinches <laughs> well the east and it's like doing... you're definitely not here but we still got a whole bunch of x's to make and yeah. then on, in the east it's like yeah we know who's pretty much there and uh there's very few that aren't well i think there's only one place up for grabs in the east isn't there two yeah, but two left but it's like all the way down to the last two teams are like the only ones eliminated, I think. I mean, there's there's a whole slew of teams that could technically get there still. 
Yeah, from the devil. Like up. the penguins have to be perfect pretty much from here on out. The devil's up could still make it, I think. Uh, but yeah, so you've got the Islanders third in the Met, 85 points. The Penguins on 83. Yep. Flyers on 83. Caps 82. Wings 82. Sabres 79. These yep, so you've got the You've got the Islanders up there in third place in the division, but not even clinched at this point. Yeah. The third place position in that is not clinched. Yeah, ever it's um it's like nobody wants to make their mind up. Right. But you've got a wild card team already clinched in Tampa Bay. I see that because of the uh, Atlantic, yeah, because of their yep. position in the Atlantic. Uh people are actually it's bizarre because people are actually saying Oh, there's a big push that if, if the Pens make the playoff, Crosby should get the Hart Trophy. Yeah. Fuck 50 you. points down from yeah. the guys who are actually doing the scoring. I mean, that's like making the argument that the year that Peyton Manning took off uh, to when he, when he was injured, that he was the most valuable player because they sucked that whole year. So yeah. you could argue that, well, in a year that he's not playing, you know, he's still the most valuable player because look at what happened to the team without him. I know. It's, <laughs> it's like, a dumb argument. <laughs> Whether I mean, you think it shouldn't be the top scorer or whatever, sure. sure. But <laughs> Crosby, 50 points behind everybody else? Well, look at it another way. Let's say you, your, your final game of the regular season, you're going to, you could clinch a playoff spot. And you bring in your third string goalie because the other two are injured, and he he gets a shutout. Right. Well, technically, he could be the most valuable player of your team that year. He's the one that got you to the playoffs. That's right. <laughs> I mean, it's, I I would even argue on the uh, McDavid thing this year, because I everybody seems to have forgotten the the beginning of the season. Is McDavid the most valuable player on that team, or is it the fact that they brought in a new coach the most valuable part of that team? Because they sucked right up until they got the new coach in there. Then suddenly they started playing. And sure, McDavid's been great since, but hmm. why wasn't he able to play under the other coach? Well, Was he exactly. sabotaging? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's a very... Yeah, I mean... Sometimes you know, a little NHL bit of it's likes the system. The narratives, though. The NHL yeah, they do. Narrative. They really like it because I, I could point to two plays from last week, one where Kucherov never touches a puck and gets an assist, yeah, and then one where the exact same thing that happened to McKinnon last week, where somebody scored an actual own goal. I mean, it's clear as day, and they awarded assists on everything. And that's Kucherov, and that was like. It was another guy who's in the scoring race. I can't remember which which one the other one was, but it's like you kill McKinnon's streak that would have broken, you know, possibly broken Gretzky's record, and McKinnon's in the in the point race, yeah. and you're giving points to players that shouldn't get them and not awarding them to him. Yeah. So there's yeah. a little bit of the uh, anti anti uh, middle of the country bias from some of the sports stuff. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the the unfavored uh, franchise areas, but uh, yep. I mean, I could say that they have a narrative even from well, the stars decided to lose to the Coroner Bedards today. Uh, but apparently, you can breathe on that guy, and it's a penalty. Yeah, uh, and, and now your Streamlabs is trying to redirect people to your rumble. <laughs> I don't know how to switch that off. How do I switch that uh, off? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's something in your chat on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, everybody, go check out the non-existent I, stream. <laughs> I set this stuff up long ago, and it just seems to run under its own steam. <laughs> yeah, Streamlabs will do that. It, it just kind of it's a ghost that you can't ever get back out of there. Yeah, I've tried. Even if you just delete it, it still keeps going. <laughs> I, I think I could figure it out. Possibly. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It Nobody's going to go over there hey, at the moment. They can go and subscribe <laughs> to my Rumble. Yeah, they could. Wish. Southern Bell is here. Good to see yeah. you, Bell. But yeah, the narrative stuff is strong. Um, I, I don't want to sound like I'm moaning, but I'm going to moan. Um, <laughs> I'm going to whinge. So we had this great run. I'll, 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 we'll look at the table again uh, later. But hang on. But we... Um, 
Stars had a great run. A great, they had a great week, other than today. We actually, we, we were the team that had the worst record for win streaks in the entire NHL. We'd never had more than seven, ever. That was actually literally the worst in the NHL. Everyone not else just, has had like eight, Not just nine, this ten. season, but ever? Ever. Never really? had seven, more than seven. We finally made eight. When we beat at Edmonton, five nothing. And by God, we looked good in that game. Yeah. Um, brilliant game for a number of reasons. Today, obviously, had the trap written all over it against Chicago. But, but the referees were appalling in this game today to the point where they chalked off a perfectly good goal for us, calling it goalie interference. And it wasn't. He was shoved into their goalie after the puck was in the net, so on and so on. Um, but, yeah, blatant, like, <laughs> Miro Heskin and has his stick taken from him and the guy actually skates towards the benches. And throws it. Meanwhile, they go and score. So Miro's without his stick, which should have yeah. been a penalty because it was grabbed off him and taken off him. So all that was happening, they went and scored. Nothing. Crickets. You know, <laughs> just this kind of thing. It's like... Yeah. It, now, don't get me wrong. We should have scored. We had 90, something like 90 shot attempts to their 23. And... Like it just wasn't gonna. You could tell it wasn't gonna happen. It was yeah. off the post. Morazic played out of his skin. Just nothing like trickling past the net. Blah blah blah. But still, I mean, which just is funny busy. because you said your wife predicted that. I told my daughter this morning. Yeah, Dallas won't win today, and yeah. she was like, "Against the Blackhawks." I was like, "Yeah." Trust yeah. me, it's I gonna happen. This, this has got <laughs> trap written all over it. Yeah, but it didn't help that. When the refereeing was, it wasn't the only thing. There was a lot of appalling refereeing in this game. Yeah. Um, but also, my wife, my, we're watching a game. My wife saying, "Why are they trying to pass it instead of shoot?" And and right enough, all through the game, instead of shooting, they'd go, "Oh, I'll drop pass back to another guy. He'll drop pass to another." Guy. It was almost like they were trying not to score at times, which is yeah. a bit suspicious if you ask me. <laughs> it's a bit that- weird. I I scream and yell when I'm at the Avs games all the time because it's like stop trying to play pretty and just put just the puck at the goal. Shoot. Exactly, just shoot. The other thing, being a conspiracy theorist, the other thing that came to mind was because Chicago got very excited that they'd won. The players and the fans were going mental. Yeah, I said, well, it's almost like they're assured of winning the draft lottery no matter which position in the table they finish it. Because you think excited they wouldn't about... be all that happy about getting points. <laughs> That's right. They're very excited about winning that game when it weakens their, potentially weakens their draft lottery position. And yet they didn't seem to care. Maybe they know they're going to get the number one pick regardless. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they're like, we can go win a few games now. But to be fair, they'd won five out of the last ten. Yeah. including four in a row at home. So, but, so maybe know. they're figuring a few things out. Yeah, we did shuffle. Or maybe there's a, a whole bunch of tryharding going on to get their positions next year. I think so, because some of them are RFAs and UFAs. And, uh, but it was just trap game written all over it, and it, it turned out that way. I mean, how many shots do we need to get a goal? It was like, do, right. do, we, have to get, do we need another 50 to get a goal? <laughs> Uh, yep, so, and it's it always sucks when that happens against a backup goalie too. Oh, I know. It's, we we get backup goalied all the time. Like that. There, there you go. There's a Vesna right there for that game when they're playing us. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, mean, I shouldn't complain. We had the eight same wins thing. The same thing kind of happened to the Abs against the Blue Jackets on. Yeah. I think that was Monday. Um, but I mean, we had 46 shots to their 25, and they win four to one. Yeah, we could exactly. not get anything past that goalie. Nothing. I mean, it was just, it was amazing how snake bit we were. So it is that kind of thing, isn't it? It just, you know, it's going to happen, and it happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know, we can't win them all. We are we're not that kind of team. But we did get eight wins in a row, which we've never had. We did beat the Oilers five zip, which was more than satisfying. Uh. Wyatt Johnson, who's still only 20 years old, got 30 goals, uh, 30 goal season, which I think is a Dallas Stars record as well. This guy's going to, is For phenomenal. a rookie? Yeah, he's phenomenal. Wyatt Johnson, really good. 
Otter got two shutouts in a row, so his season's turned right around in the last five, six games. Yeah. Um, but Johnson is a he's a thing of beauty. It was so good that this was me dancing at the game. <laughs> So that would be me. Yeah. At games. I've done that. I've, I've I'd prefer not to see that next Sunday. Well, you may. Especially <laughs> that could be Which me. team are you going to dance for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I'll dance any goal. Hey, if there's a chance of winning a dance-off dance, dance -off thing in the uh, Jumbotron, then uh, I'll be there. You and WG can handle it. That's right. Um, I'm just trying to find this. Uh, Do you know that game's at like 1.30 in the afternoon? I did not know that. I thought it was at night. So it'll be at like 12.30 uh, Vegas time. Yeah. I thought it was a nighttime game. But, uh, so um, did I. Hang on. Just a sec. Sorry about this. So this is, this was, this is the, the, um, the famed four-on-one that Daryl yeah. Nurse Dar gave us. Nurse gave us. What I, I saw this o one. Oilers defense is terrible. It's never good for the goaltender yeah. when... When it's the four on one. Four on one. <laughs> and it's Johnson's 30th goal. So. And all Darnell because some Nurse. guy at the point just uh, didn't do it, anything. It was Nurse. And was I saw, it Nurse? But actually, people did the old drawing on the screen later and showing the Oilers' defense. For some reason, they were all up at the boards behind our goal, our net, when this here happened. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> it's like, and He's just standing pinches. there. Everybody's below the goal except yeah, for these And then he these pinches two. when there's yeah. no one around. Yep. But Johnson comes out of the box because he just came off a penalty. And he came, there he is coming out of the box. Yeah. The four on one, you just love to see it. Which is the dream on the penalty kill. When oh, you God, get control yeah. of the puck right as your guy jumps out of the box because yeah. nobody's uh, ready for that. So we scored... Four goals in five minutes, 48 seconds or something. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So, okay, we lost uh, We lost today, but, you know, it's been a good run. Well, and hopefully you'll lose tomorrow. <laughs> well, let's face it. We keep getting backs, back to backs against you guys in Denver. Like, how many times do we, are we going to have to play a back to back in Denver against you guys? So It's fine by me. Yeah, so I, I have every expectation that we're going to struggle. Oh, and it's yeah. a late start, too. It's 8, yeah. 8 p.m. Mountain, so... Oh, shit, yeah. I mean, That's they're true. giving you as much of the day as they can to rest, but uh, that, I've got tickets for that one, and it's going to suck. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I won't get home until 1 or 2 in the morning. This was... Uh, I may give my tickets to my daughters and just say, hey, you guys want to go to the game and then not may. go? Yeah. So this was a nice, <laughs> nice tweet. Dallas Stars, we came, we saw, we oiled. And then someone says, this is so bad, out of context. <laughs> well, at least it's in that order instead of we saw, we oiled, we came. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, the Vegas, uh, uh, Vegas um, Colorado game is at 1.30. I, I'm debating, and I need your help, I'm debating what to wear to that game because... I can bring an extra abs jersey if you want. You could, but then I'd be soiling myself, wouldn't I? Like, I need soap or a flame cleanse me. Oh, it's better than a, uh, it's better than a Las Vegas jersey. Oh, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm thinking of taking a, I, I was thinking of wearing a Stars jersey, but then I was also thinking of wearing my Kamloops blazer Stankovan jersey. But then I also thought maybe I'll just wear a Stars t-shirt because it's freaking hot in Vegas. Even in the arena, it'll be warm. So. Yeah. Well, it'll kind of depend on what WG is going to wear. If he's going to wear a Canes jersey, then you might as well wear the Dallas jersey, and you guys can both look goofy and out of place yeah. at hey, a uh, Vegas, Colorado game. If you promise to buy the beers every, uh, if you buy all the beers, I'll cheer when the Avs score. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. I don't even I mean, buy myself beer at games. <laughs> I hate paying prices at the arenas. Yeah, <laughs> and I imagine Vegas is worse than just about any of them oh, because okay. it's all tourism. I might go like, I might go, well, hey, ooh, ooh, like that uh, family <laughs> guy. <Ooh>. Yeah. <laughs> so 
I'll, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to be excited. It's going to be exciting to be at a, a big game like that in Vegas. I mean, I know it's not the stars, but it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to both teams trying their hardest and absolutely knackering themselves. <laughs> <laughs> no injuries. I don't want anyone we'll, to get injured. We'll still have one more game after that, too, because we yeah. play on the final day on the 18th. I'd 18. like to see you crawling off the ice, both teams exhausted at the end. Yeah, I think Bedner has moved his philosophy to it would be nice to have home ice, but at the same time, we're not going to try to get any more injuries to do it. And, of course, we lost Ramden. So, in fact, we could uh, we could start by showing that one. Um, yeah. Is there any news about your captain? Um, I mean, he's skating. He looks horrible. Um, yeah. He's doing cutbacks and stuff now, which is good. But um, He's not good I don't think there's any realistic expectation of him coming back during or before training camp of next no. season. No, okay. I think that's wise. I would agree. I mean, yeah. if, he, if they were saying he was going to be good for the start of the playoffs, that would be one thing. Um, but they're saying he might be able to be back around the end of round two, beginning of round three, and that would be asinine to bring him in then. Because it gets harder and tougher, yeah. Yeah, and his knee's untested, so. Well, given that you're going out in the first round, um, he won't get a chance anyway. Then. Without Rantanen, maybe. <laughs> no, no Especially chance. with uh, Nichushkin, uh I mean, he's played, since he came back from the, uh, um, you know, the rehab, I think he's been out three games and only played two games, something like that, so. But uh, here's Rantanen going down. I did have this clip too, but it's, yeah. I hope we get a closer look at the replay. Yeah, it's got a few different angles. Because there's some that it looks like he hits him shoulder to shoulder, and there's some where it looks like it goes shoulder to head. Yeah. But I That's think that can. I, I think it it's a concussion, and I think it's from. partially from him landing on his head. I don't think he hits the head. When you look at it at that angle. So the box will listen in downstairs. It, it, especially as Ratton has got his arm up. I think he goes out almost right. like under his arm. Right. But it's still a big hit. And it's just but I, going I think down. where he hits the head, it's Ratton hitting his head on the ice. Yes. Because yeah. he falls awkwardly directly onto his, yeah, onto his dome. Is. And I'm pretty sure they haven't really said, you know, it's the NHL. They're going to say upper body injury yeah. um but the rumors from some of the uh guys that were on the flight some of the the media crew was they don't think it's a grade they think it's a grade two concussion he never lost consciousness so mm. that's good uh and they said it could have been much worse but that's as much as they've said is they didn't even say it's a concussion they said the results could have been much worse but I think everybody in Denver is fully bracing for he's probably out for the rest of the regular season. Yeah. It's bad, yeah. It's, it's a shame. But at least he got his 100 points before that because it would be a shame, you know, if it had happened like two games mm -hmm. ago and you you don't get your 100-point season because of a very late injury. But as long as he's back for the first round, that's all I really care about at this point. On, you know, if he yeah. has to... If he has to miss the rest of the regular season, fine. Just have him ready for the playoffs. Yeah, there's no, and I think Bed, 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 uh, I was going to say Bedard, Bedner. It's right. Just Bedner. there's no point in killing yourself for position placement. Yeah. yeah, especially the way we've seen the last few years go, because the high, the high seeded teams keep getting knocked out, and the low seeded teams end up, you know end up with uh yeah. the home ice advantage that everybody worked so hard for all year because you've got teams going out in the first round that were the higher seeds and then everybody gets a little bit of advantage from so that so you're gonna you're, what you're saying is that the pittsburgh penguins are going to win the stanley cup <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> now there is a there's a, a bracket out there of i'm going to see if i can find the updated version with the percentages of uh the different matchups that could happen mm -hmm. out there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take a look, find it. That was quite interesting. I don't think it was suggesting that, that it was a percentage on, uh, not on who would beat who, but if like if the star, the percentage chance of the stars playing the Kings, for instance, or the stars playing uh, Oilers or the st whatever. Right. 
So I'm gonna have to have a look for that because I uh, it's I saw an old version of it. I need to find the updated version. Uh, we'll look and for hello, that later. brightest lender. Sure. Uh, so, do we go to the the big topic of the week? I think we should. Let's hit the exciting big one. Yeah. Why don't you show the version of it you've got, and then I will uh, pull up the alternate version. Okay. Well, then I will do some um, finagling. <laughs> uh, and then we'll show the fight that happened after that and the fight that happened after that. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Uh, let me just pause this so it doesn't play too early, uh, and I will bring it in. So it's... Um, Rangers v. Devils. Uh, Full-on line brawl. Uh, including another Matt Rempe fight club. Well, if we remember, Rempe had gotten kicked out of the last game for a dirty hit, and McDermott tried to go with him, and Rempe refused, and then Rempe yeah. got ejected, and Dur McDermott got a 10-minute misconduct. So Said that he lost all respect up. for him. It's time for the matchup, yeah. So McDermott... Basically, I mean, this was the opening opening face off, and McDermott said, "You know, you have to go right now." And yeah. Rimpe turned to him and said, "Well, I figure that's why our lines are out." That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's but, quite an energetic house. I'm going to look for people to score in the chat to score this at the end and see who they think wins. The other the other thing about it though was, uh, the coaches were both furious because. Um, they both thought that the other coach was trying to, you know, pull one over on him. Instigate. It was only supposed to be McDermott and Rempe going. It oh, wasn't supposed to be a line brawl. I'm disappointed that the goalies didn't get into it. So And I regardless think, of what Chat thinks, I think McDermott took him. <laughs> I think McDermott is the winner. Yes. Yeah. I think so. I love McDermott's style, the way he's holding on to the right there. Yeah. He's punching him with his jersey holding hand when he's That's not right. rocking him with the big shots. Showing his uh, experience there, I would say. Yep. Old man McDermott. So I'd say McDermott won that. Most of the other brawls, the fights were over pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. But all eight players got ejected that weren't in the very first fight that went down. Yeah. Um, and we've got an interesting uh, version of this, too, uh, from way up in the media box that's loud sorry so oh, here's how it looks from up above there's just stuff flying all over the ice. that's right <laughs> who's all the gloves are everywhere yeah half the job at the end is figuring out whose gloves and uh, helmets they have uh so who's this down here? I wonder who that pair are. Which one? Down at this the pair right? Down on the right. Is that uh, Mariota or whatever his name it is? It could be, yeah. Uh, because there's Rempe and McDermott on the left, aren't they? Yeah, they're the ones to go the longest. Yeah. Really think the goalies should have got into this. I mean, they're letting the side down. Well, that was kind of the thing that if they had started their backup goalies and maybe you could have had that, but I don't <laughs> think Shesterkin, I mean, yeah, the devils are still technically playing, yeah. you know, New York's got it all kind of locked up, but uh, I don't think you stick Shesterkin or, you know, I don't think you get them ejected just for the hell of it. I know. Cause Shesterkin started taking off his blocker. It shows in some of the views, it shows him taking off the blocker and then deciding to pick it back up and to put it back on. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so yeah, that, that we haven't had anything like that in in a bit. So it was kind of kind of good to see a good old fashioned line brawl again. It was, uh, of course, it was a tribute to a, a line brawl in twenty twelve that they had, I believe. Yep, uh, I think these teams this, like to do this. I think it's this. <laughs> I might be, or is this the same one? I don't know. Hard to tell. Till I see players' names. It's it's this is the twenty twelve. Yep. Uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of standing around watching going on there. Come on, boys, get in there. <laughs> Nobody want to dance with me? Which, this was a good fight, but... Well, they're all going Nothing like there. McDermott Rempe. No, McDermott, I, and yeah, I think McDermott is the heavyweight champion there. Oh, there's some blood. Yep. Got a little spray on the ice. He did. This is the 2012 version. They're just cuddling. <laughs> oh, here we go. His jersey's off. Equipment will be off in a second. Trousers off. Now, wasn't this the year that the Devils won the Cup? 2012? 2012? I can't I remember don't now. remember. Uh, maybe it was earlier than 2012. All right, they got them. Smokey, my favorite line brawl was the Nux and the Flames where Torts was losing his mind at Bob Hartley. Oh, we don't know. I wish we'd, uh, we'll look for that one for next time. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty neat, though. So, um, so I, I do have a super chat. Yes, you do. How do I throw In fact, that up? In fact, well, I can do it. Uh, we got to yeah. go back to the other screen because we need the one where I can highlight. I can't see how to do that. So, from Brett Cohen, 70s, you need to look up Allie the Piper. She'll warm your cockles and remind you of a warm home for what is that, five Australian? Five Australian dollars, Struth. Thank you, Brett. I will look up Ali the Piper. Uh, I suspect she's obviously hot. <laughs> and she knows how to handle a sheep's stomach. <laughs> With <laughs> She probably makes a good haggis then, too. <laughs> she probably does. Thank you, Al uh, Brett, for that. I'll look up Ali the Piper. I guess what we should do is play something for you, then. Uh, let me uh, see if I can find an, an, ad an, an advertisement. Would be nice. Let's find a commercial for you. Uh, I gotta go looking for them now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Commercials. Let's have some uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie, I think. Uh, so let me add that. Oh, sorry, move that one. How do you use this, uh, this software view? <laughs> there we go. All right. Transition. I'm going to transition now. So this is for you, Brett. How's it going? I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. Good day. Our goal in this commercial is to make you thirsty. Yeah, we do it with the pour shot. I'm going to take this ice cold Molson Golden and pour it into this frosty glass, eh? Doesn't that make your lips just drool? Looking at that fresh Canadian water, barley and hops. Mm. Ice thirsty as you? Yeah, absolutely. Molson Gold, the best there is from Canada. Beauty. Not strictly speaking a hockey advert, but it's Bob and Doug, so it's close enough. There's a goalie mask in the corner. There is? On top of all the Molson. That uh, counts, then. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Unless it's a lacrosse <laughs> mask, but I don't believe so. <laughs> uh, probably not, although it is technically a Canadian thing, too. But, um, nice. Uh, yeah, well, thanks, Brett, for, for that. Uh, super chatting all the way from Australia where um, I th believe at this time in Australia, the stars have beaten the Avs already because they are ahead. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how it works, time zones? Yes, know. they do know the future. That's why yeah. they're all rich. So I'm looking up <laughs> Ali the Piper right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes. And while you're looking up that, we'll look at the uh, the later fight from the Devils and Rangers game because – they stayed chippy all night. Yeah. And this one went on for uh, a good 30 seconds. Was a follow -up. Yeah. I guess there was uh, no tender love, no, no sweet tender love after the uh, earlier brawl. Well, this was only like four minutes later. Right. This and is 1533 in the first. <laughs> how many penalty minutes in total did you say in this game played? I don't know on the total for the game, but for the first two seconds of the game, it was 152 minutes. With the eight players being kicked out, plus fighting for the two that didn't get kicked out, mm. plus misconduct. So that was not a bad tilt, but 
Yeah, if you were at this game, yeah. you have to see a whole lot of action. You got your money's worth. Oh, definitely. What was that game we, we had clips from recently where there was like eight players left on the benches at the end? Was it Buffalo? It was a Buffalo game, I think. It may have been Buffalo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I found Ali the Piper. Yeah. This is her version of uh, Thunderstruck, I think. Crazy Train. A bit loud. We're not getting any volume. It's a bit loud for you, but I'm not hearing anything. Oh, you're not? Okay. So it's because it's, yeah, I don't have the browser uh, volume up. But there she is, Allie the Piper. I don't like the nose ring, but. Oh, she's a hefty girl in the arms. A little bit. Aye. No, I know you can't hear it, but uh, Nimble she's fingers, playing though. Thunderstruck right now. Well, it said Crazy Train. Oh, Is Crazy Train, sorry. Oh, okay. I thought I'd pick the Thunderstruck one. Ah, well. She's all she's right, not you bad. know. She's not bad. She's not bad. But she could do it, you know, she could go out and get the coal for the fire, chop wood. She's got the Bill says arms. she has large lungs. <laughs> He's got large lungs. <laughs> Not like Sydney Sweeney's large lungs. Hey, was that her doing all that uh, auto work? Yes. She knows as the if she, As if she could not get uh, more men to start simping for her. I know. She knows her audience, and she's she's yeah. got an empty field right now, so she can dominate that field. There's no yeah. other women doing that. So. All the other women are like, don't look at me. Uh... It's my whole job to be looked at, but don't, don't look at me. Attractive. Please don't find me attractive. So Smokey says there was a total of 166 penalty minutes from that game. Uh, is that all? Jeez. So all the good 152 in the first two seconds, and then uh, 14 for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, if we're going to keep doing fights, though, I do have another one. Sure. Uh, we might as well exhaust the fights and then hope that... Uh, we get through. I mean, the fights tend to be what get us taken down. So, <laughs> oh, everything gets us taken down now. It's yeah. like, I mean, I've already had a stack of warnings, but screw them. Um, if anyone from the NHL uh, copyright uh, team is watching, um, hello. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something nasty to them, didn't you? We're uh, just trying to spread the sport. We're just trying to spread the sport a bit, and we're not playing these clips without talking about them. This is what we call commentary in the business. And transformative. That's right. So this is a, some, I, I, trust me, I don't know the details here, but this is an FDNY competition, I believe. <laughs> and this guy here that's commentating might be somebody well known. They talked about him in the RE or the initials, but I don't know. Personally, I don't know who he is, but... Uh, But this is an eye-level view of uh, some shenanigans. Is there a goal scored and the goalie's upset about the celebration? I don't know. They see the goal and then things start to heat up. <laughs> well, the goalie's going after him and the, the whole other team was over there in the corner. So I think they scored a goal. We didn't see the actual goal, though. Right. Here go the goalies. And now the goalies. <laughs> And there's some more joining in. Oh, that goalie's getting a real beating. Yeah. And he was the one who originally tried to start the fight. He wanted it. <laughs> yeah. Just the other one, the goalie said, just remember, you asked for this. <laughs> <laughs> they talked about MSG the other night. I wonder if that's the same thing they're talking about that we just watched. Maybe. Look at this. Look at the blood. Yeah, he got his face pulverized. He did. There's nothing quite like that kind of local rink hockey. It's great. With commentators, huh? With actual commentators. But there you go. The RA point of view of the FDNY brawl. That's all I know nothing about it. Courtesy of Spitting Chicklets, of course, who put such great stuff up on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, but that was fun. A goalie fight. And I've got, I think, two more. Do it. So Do it. this one 
is Reeves and Juneau. Oh, okay. So Tampa Bay, Toronto. And let me turn it down and we'll bring it on in. So this is just a nice little center ice. Two big boys. Yeah, Reeves, yeah, yeah. And Juneau. You gotta love when there's no passion. It's just like, all right, we're we're gonna fight. We're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably the first thing to say is right. Where where are you having a drink later? Where do you want to meet? Yeah. You know? Which hotel are you guys at? I'll come to the lobby and have a drink later. That's right. Yeah. yeah catch you later. Who's the daughter? So they're getting Who's some big ones in there though. <coughs> Takes time to fix his helmet. I know. And that was his downfall. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> left an opening there. Ooh, Reeves is excited. Yeah. So not a bad little tilt there. Yeah. But not the best we've seen. Uh, yeah. And then we've got one more. This is Drury and Beecher. Another center ice. I mean, Let's go at it. good, but it's no Rangers Devils. Yeah. No. Well, nothing's going to match that for the rest yeah. of the season. Although that still may not have been the... The biggest or the best fight of the year it may have been the other rempe fights from earlier this year oh yeah burns has his stick grabbed and we'll keep moving along Ooh. here and now we'll get a whistle behind the plays dropping the gloves harvard versus michigan drury against beecher it just ruined it for me by saying that. Drury giving up the side <laughs> here. beecher throws it right now drury comes back with one Another little one elbow drury. on the back Oh, oh, he went for the under, but he fell over. You want to talk about a guy feeling where his team's at in the game? A little bit more heated. There's, there's a bit of passion there. He's got a great, he looks like one of the three stooges. Yeah. Sparks been delivered Curly. Or maybe Danny Masterson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was two good ones there, but, but he recovered. Beach recovered. Yeah. So, you know, fair enough. So that's that's the fights for the week. Well, I got one more. You it's got one an more? Old one, though. This is a vintage one, courtesy of uh, whoever the hell, uh, Hockey Fights uh, on Twitter. Um, bit blurry, but this is... Um, Kings versus Flames, Simmons, Wayne Simmons, Wayne Simmons, mm -hmm. uh, against Peters. I don't remember Peters, but here we go. Kings and Flames, yeah. <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> it didn't go too well. No. <laughs> I did like this one. The big whiff right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, some haymakers go. Oh, they got him there. Nope, Peters is fighting back there. Saskatoon. Uh, I wanted more of that. Yeah. That was actually They're, shaping up pretty well. They were probably getting a little bit worn out. They were. That was a nice one, though. A nice vintage one. I think it's the last fight I've got. Well, since we're doing, you know, stuff from the past, this isn't vintage, but three years ago, I believe it was on Thursday, yeah. was the anniversary of this event. One of my favorites. He was spread out. McKinnon hit not once but twice by Garland, and McKinnon's red hot as he throws Garland down to the ice, and they get after it on the near side. Garland has him, tackles him down to the ice. And Garland here, have your helmet. Where's the helmet? Cut. <laughs> 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 <He's laughs> <from the Cut. laughs> from behind, McKinnon is wrapped up. Nice. I love it. How long ago was that, man? That was three years ago. Three years ago, okay. Yep. We'll be playing that forever. Oh, yeah, because it's classic. It's a classic. Stone cold classic. Ding. <laughs> yeah. In an 8-3 to three game. An 8-3, to three, yeah, yeah. We were destroying them. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've got any other fights, but that's um, got a lot of goals and stuff, though. 
Let's check in. We've on, got... uh, but before we do that, I think we should check in on tonight's games while they're still going, just briefly. Um, end of the second, Flame Oilers 2, Flames 1. And uh, this third period has just started in the other game. The Kings are 4-1 up against the Canucks, so... Good. Kings are looking to seal things up properly, or are they already in? I can't remember. Um, I don't uh, know that they're in yet. Uh, no, I didn't think they were, uh, but this will certainly help them. Yep. Uh, looks like they're going to get a win. Put someone 93 points. Uh, still, uh, uh, 90, yeah, 93 points. I mean, the Knights and the Kings are both going to make it, so it's just a matter of position. The only real question is whether the... Uh, the Blues have got enough in them to catch the Preds. That's it, really, in the West. So. Yeah. And I suspect and not. And I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. But So that's how tonight's games are shaping up. It's just jostling for position now. Yep, for the uh, most part. Sure. So, uh, yeah. Got some goals and some stuff. Got some uh, torts. Torts, well, of course. <laughs> We've always got some torts. Should we show some torts now? Let's show sure, we can, we can show a couple uh, torts clips because uh, there was yeah. at least two little speeches he gave this week that... Yeah. Uh, do you want to grab those? or I got one yep. of them. Which one do you have? The, I got the... Uh, the first one where he talked one. about the second period? I got the first one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you want to bring it up, then I'll bring up the second one. So tor we love torts. Everybody loves torts. <laughs> <laughs> I just he's he's matter, a touch of crazy. It doesn't matter what you think of him as a coach. I just like his style. So there we go. Let's transition to that. So here he is expounding about his philosophy. It's not sharing audio for some reason. Should be. I don't hear it. Because it's on Twitter like all the other ones have been. Chat, are you hearing it? Uh, no there's audio. There's nothing different about this clip from any of the others on Twitter that I play. I don't know. That's Let's try. curious because all the others have been fine, I think. Yeah. Well, no, we haven't had sound on most of the fights. Oh. Well, let's try this. It always comes down, this comes down to, right? It always comes down, oh, they're going to quit on him. It, it follows me around. It fo it fo and so be it. If a player is going to quit on me or players are going to quit on me because I'm trying to make them better people and better athletes, yeah. you got the wrong damn coach here and you got the wrong damn people here. So I I'm not sure what goes on. My job is I am going to push athletes, and um, I try to stay away from uh, – I have other things on my mind that I don't give you. Uh, I was in control the other night. What I said I meant. <laughs> I was in control. And quite honestly, when I watch the tape now, I, I'm, I'm more concerned than just the second period because of – I'm so proud of the team getting here. And I guess now the narrative out there is, because I've heard from other people, that they're young, they, they're not supposed to be here. They, bullshit. We're here. We're here. Face it. And let's be better. And I don't think we're ready to be better. And that's my problem with us right now. And it is my job. I have not done a good enough job to get them over the hump after playing those seven games, and then each game as it goes down, we have six left. I haven't done a good enough job to make them understand we have to be different now. We have to be at a different level. That's my frustration with me, and that's my frustration with the team. And if people can't handle it, so be it. This comes down so to So that's right, towards philosophy on coaching. On. Uh, that's and that pretty good. Yeah, I mean, people uh, do consider him a dick most of the time, but uh, at least he's uh, going to give you a reason. So that was actually the second one um the first one is what he was talking about when he said i was under control the other night so we'll play mm. oh. 
we'll play that one too, but not that loud. Things kind of came to a stop. What was your assessment of where things were? Sort of soft. <laughs> one guy played soft. the goalie. How encouraging is it that he came in like that cold and was able to? Terrific. He's the only guy that played. <laughs> is that kind of surprising? Considering you said like you trust your team, you don't have to tell them or remind them, and then they, they do that. You, you're finding things out here, okay? When these games are at a whole different plane, okay? It's still regular season, right? But it's a whole different plane. So we're finding things out. We talked after the last game about that was kind of what you felt like wasn't a great performance. Are you concerned at all that tonight it kind of lingered again that you just said it was a soft game per se? Uh, not the whole game and not the whole group. There are certain people that they don't have a clue how to play <laughs> or just don't have it in them to play in these type of situations. And this is why I'm glad we're playing them. I'm glad because we, we have to figure things out as far as what we're going to uh, become as a team here. That was embarrassing in the second period for the Philadelphia Flyer uniform, the way we played. Embarrassing. High marks as far as how we came back in the third. Some guys. Some guys. Why did you make the decision to, to bring him in and how impressed were you in his performance tonight? I, I, I think that was the end of that one. Yeah. Yeah, I, f I figured out what's wrong. I do have a sound problem with uh, Elgato, my my sound software. The oh. actual stream output has disappeared. The so main the stream output. So all the inputs that would be going to that are gone. You can still hear my microphone, but that's the only thing. Just not uh, getting the mix. Yeah, the mix is gone. So I'm not Ruh -ruh. quite sure how I can fix that while we're live. Well, for most of the videos that don't involve a coach talking, we don't really have to have sound yeah. i would probably have to do some kind of reinstallation to get that to fix because it's disappeared it's gone uh i'm not quite sure why can you still hear me yeah okay good uh yeah that is weird Silver. That must have been like that it's for a long-standing flyers tradition to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Jaws of victory that's right <laughs> And they look like they're going to do it again. Yeah. Despite their seven feet four tall keeper that they brought <laughs> up from Russia. Oh, uh, speaking of him, we do have a clip of him. Um, that is Ivan Fedotov, right? Yes, Fedotov. Yeah, well, in uh, one of his maybe first overtime appearances, uh, this embarrassing thing happened. He's coming over to his net to get ready, and uh, yeah, the other goalie has to come over, smack him on the butt, and say, hey, this isn't you're where you're supposed to be. Go get in your goal. <laughs> and goalies are pretty protective of their creases, so um, yeah, uh, that could have gotten a little bit uglier. <laughs> I suspect what he said was, in Russia, goalie takes this this, uh, this goal. Well, and it's Varlamov, so he may have... Uh, actually said it in russian <laughs> uh, what's russian for get the fuck out here <laughs> right <laughs> Good so thing. i thought that one was kind of funny because uh you don't typically see uh nhl goalie try to set up at the wrong end of the ice yeah a little good. bit of nerves there <laughs> indeed um i'm desperately trying to figure out how to fix this sound thing i don't know if i can uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Just it has show. disappeared. The mix has disappeared completely. Uh, live technical, <laughs> live technical work going on right now. Uh, I will just so anything I'm going to play, there will be no, unfortunately, no sound to it. I do not. That's fine because it's been like that for most of the night on your clips. So yeah, I, just, <laughs> I didn't know because I hear it all. Uh, but this one doesn't have any sound. The next one I'm going to play, so it's uh, a little GIF. It's a GIF, I believe. And I they the never right have one. sound. So this is, um, you know what we're going to do? We'll do the, you can't do that then. It's okay. time for you can't do that. You can't do that. And... In order to play, you can't do that. I have to show our brand new, never before seen intro to the You Can't Do That. Because I told you before, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that.
adjust the volume on that. What? You heard yeah. that, didn't you? you oh, yeah. You heard that. Blew out my eardrums. <laughs> you heard that one, didn't you? Um, so, in that case, oops, sorry, wrong one. I got to get the... Um, so, uh, you're not supposed to do things like... Uh, So he, here he is, throwing his stick. He's a little angry with the ref. Yes. So he throws a stick at him and gets suspended three games. Yeah. Three game suspension for that. He was a little bit pissed off, and we're going to show why he was a little bit pissed off. But yes. And the thing is, he claimed that uh, he had no intention to hit anybody or or hurt anybody or whatever. That's true. He did throw it away out. Into, but you just can't do that. Any action perceived as trying to hit a ref or harm the ref is an automatic three-game suspension. Yeah. And what's funny is he almost hit his own player, Boldy, there. Or whatever. He's, um, so why did he do that? He was a little bit peeved about something that happened earlier, um, which I believe was... Related to, um, it might have been this. So, got high sticked. Stick in the face. Yep. And, and I'm there assuming was no, call. no call. No call. So he was a little bit peeved by that. And that lasted all the way to the end of the game, which I think they lost. I mean, he got him pretty good across the face. He did. Seems and you like can't it. do that either. You can't do, so we have two you can't do that for the price of one right there. So uh, so well played to the NHL. But he, did, he got a three-game suspension for getting hit in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah. actually, it was. But I do have a vintage you can't do that. Um, okay. Which uh, was... Uh, Ron Hextall back in the day uh, and here he is uh, it's a gif and it's, I can't make it any bigger than this he is yeah. protecting his crease <laughs> <laughs> oh, right in the back of slight slash oh <laughs> Protecting his crease, yes, well played. Yeah, like I was saying, goalies can be a little bit overprotective with the crease at Indeed. times. And we shouldn't forget, of course, that it is, um, and we're going to play this, and again, there won't be any. Sign. Yeah, that was Hextall, Smokey. Uh, he did, of course, he did, of course, uh, score the first ever NHL goal directly goalie into goal. a net by a goalie. I believe. Uh, this is the longer clip, I think. So it's it goes back and forward a little. And here it goes. He was intent on trying, huh? And bang, yeah, he was really going for it several times. And there Two attempts. Yeah. So fair play. He he uh, he did it. You can hey, do that. You can do that. Oops, sorry. But you Boom. can't do what Zadorov did in a game against the Knights. No. The ability to review for a high sticking. Here's that play, as you can see, Zadorov clearly just That would driving. be boarding. Numbers, that would be. You can't do that. Call. It doesn't take oh, run, but he just stapled him against man. the boards. That is bad. And there's yeah. Barbashev who follows up with a hit on Zadorov right after that. <laughs> uh, who got up right with the ability to review for high wasn't injured in any way that it looks like because he gets no, up and he tries to fight Zadorov and Zadorov's a lucky, big boy yeah Kremlin he knocked him out of his gloves <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you definitely can't do that you cannot yeah, but yes, so we have a very loud opening intro for this now. Yeah, we'll have to adjust the volume on that. Yeah, I don't know, I kind of liked it. 
I don't think anybody in the chat did. <laughs> they all said, wow, what? <laughs> Uh, you're all chill. I mean, come on, who doesn't like hearing the Beatles loud? The Beatles. Uh, so here's a neat, uh, again, it's, uh, forgive me, there won't be any audio, but this is a very neat shot uh, of a goal from the uh, KHL. Okay. St. Petersburg, I think, and I think it's actually a Flyers draft pick, Matt Mat Matty Mikov. Uh, but what's good about this is it's um, there's a drone view footage of it. Somebody had a drone. Oh, I just had a bit of a uh, computer flip there. Uh, just having all kinds of issues tonight, huh? Yeah. And it shows that it transitioned. Uh, I can't see any video though. Me neither. Oh, here we go. There it's it back. Is. Right here we go. Can you see anything? So this is a this is a spinning uh, circle loading. Yeah, I'm having some problems here. I'm afraid. Is this in Twitter? Yeah, but I think it's my laptop that's having the problems. There we yeah, go. It's playing a little bit now. Anyway, so a great go goal. But then they show you the replay with a drone view of it. Yeah, I saw the drone fly across the screen. Yeah. Now, I kind of like that. It's cool, but it, it also seems like it's pretty low to the ice for... Uh, uh, yeah. I, I <laughs> I mean, suspect it's like it's glass a, level, like yeah, right I above the glass. I suspect it's a bit of a distraction. And if you were in the... Of course, if you were in the um, the crowd, you may well be tempted to try and down it with a hat or something. At some point. Right. <laughs> Especially if your team loses a goal. But, we uh, saw yeah, something a, similar in the... I think it was the Minnesota and Avs game a few days ago. Oh, yeah. Me and my daughter are sitting there watching it, and it looked like a bird flew across the screen. It turned out it was a drone. A drone. But Minnesota had a drone going in the in the uh, the arena. Yeah, it's still there's still crap drone or not. So, um, yeah, but that was pretty neat. I, I suspect that would become pretty tiring after a while, though. But as you say, low to the ice, distracting. Yeah. Because it, it was distracting even just on the screen. Yeah. Watching now, the clip, it was like, hey, a, there's something going across. A drone in the arena bringing you your beer might be okay. Yeah. You just order it up on your phone. That, anyway. that could work, except uh, with as much as those beers cost, I don't want any sloshing. That's true. No slosh. No slosh. And I don't want somebody else to just be able to grab it from the drone on its way. <laughs> <laughs> um. This one I found hilarious. I'm not sure what league this is, but uh, this this is uh, the worst way to uh, celebrate a goal by trying to st the other player and, put the and crunch <laughs> and boom. Yeah. Watch him watch him stare him down and never look forward while he's skating. And the 16 and, and the boom. Exactly what was going on. Yeah. He's like, what? He skated into me. <laughs> I didn't do anything but stand here. <laughs> so that was that was glorious. Yeah, that's one of those uh, you think you're cool moments. And then... Yep. <laughs> and then you find out you look like an idiot. Yep. Indeed. And then I do have a couple clips of uh, some some referee incidents. Uh, this was oh, Trevor yeah. Zegras getting uh, leveled. By the referee. <laughs> Play right at center that his coach won't be too happy with turning over. I think there should like be like a reverse check. I think someone <laughs> should have dropped the gloves on the ref. Yeah. <laughs> it's an automatic three game suspension. <laughs> and he was pissed. <laughs> he's slamming the stick. He's I love it. Oh, he's got great hair too. All the ref did was turn to try to get out of the way. Yeah, I, mean, I feel for them in that respect because they are sometimes jammed in there. I mean, what yeah, but how flimsy do you have to be to be Zegras getting knocked over by the ref that hard oh, just by the ref standing there? The poor thing's upset. <laughs> so, 
That one was a few days ago. Uh, this one was a little bit more serious uh, that happened tonight. Um, it's a really short clip, but we had a referee that had to be stretchered out because he was non-responsive. Kibaleski will be our lone Ooh. official and on the right side of your screen. Yeah, the players the watching the, the, the play up and ice, the referee Chibaleski is skating, watching up ice, and, the and they right collide screen, there was the collision. hard. Will be and the ref was ref hits his head on the on the ice real hard too. But uh, mm. yeah, had to be stretchered out. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, right in the back of the head. So um, I did get an coming. update. Neither of them saw it coming. I mean, it was a blind side by both of them at center ice. But uh, I did get an update. the The referee is fine. He's got function in all of his limbs and is uh, alert and responsive. So yeah, unfortunately though, um, he has got a uh, very bad eyesight yeah and you, that's just because he was a referee that's just to refereeing do, in general it's nothing to do with it <laughs> and terrible judgment and bad breath too yeah <laughs> but so, that one that one looked like it hurt it did well i'm glad he's okay because um no doubt he must have been the referee in the chicago uh, dallas game today but, so. <laughs> He's got the cross eyes. Cross eyes. He's like the, the opti grab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the jerk. <laughs> so this um this could have been in um the you can't do that section and again there's no audio, so forgive me, but this is uh Petrangelo uh getting uh, uh, slightly his acting skills are pretty good, I have to say. Embellishment on the high on a supposed yeah. high stick. So, so hopefully they're going to show it in a second. There we go. Look at his, he throws, he throws his, his, head, his head back. back. Yeah. The stick was nowhere near his head. I'm surprised he didn't put his hand to his mouth too, but that might've gotten him the actual dive call. Was there a Look penalty called or not? Right, in the, it's in the chest, and yeah, no reason that his head would snap back like that. Yeah, and they're seeing a lot of this now. So and anyway, hello, awesome one. Hey, awesome one. You shouldn't be doing that. You can't do that. Um, I do have a couple more things. All right, I've got one awesome goal left. All right, so I'll play uh, a couple more bits and pieces. Here is, uh, this is nothing. It's not the greatest clip you're ever going to see, but hang on. This is, uh, so this Sabres player, I can't remember who it is, is getting really excited because he's going to get the empty netter. <laughs> oh. Oops. Then the stick disintegrates. Stick snaps. snaps. <laughs> Like, That's it sad. Just, it just totally disintegrates. <laughs> what, are they gluing them together or something? In, in Must Buffalo have had a scoring there? bonus on the line. That's right. Uh, Buffalo is like using blue tack to keep the, they're so poor. They're keeping the sticks together. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't buy your sticks from Wish. As seen on TV. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. What do you got, mate? Um, What do I got? Yeah. I got a from behind the goal goal off of the head of the goalie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who even thinks to shoot from this position, but he decided to oh. ricochets it off the goalie's face. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Pretty crazy. That is crazy, but it's cool. I mean, we've seen people try to, you know, take it off the, or put it on the back of the goalie before, but, uh, yeah, this one, that's an angle that, uh, and shooting actually for his face, don't see that very often. Yeah, I think you would think that would upset a couple of people. Oh, uh, yeah, I would. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised he didn't get tackled to the ground. I know. You got to admire him, though, because he did it with pinpoint precision. Yeah, and there really was no light, daylight between oh, the, the goalie and that uh, 
that net uh that he pipe even, so he even leaned his hand against the pipes yeah, yeah. <laughs> surprise so uh this one though so what is it with empty nets and people getting upset these days oh yeah there's an awful lot of people just the one from tonight this uh was this tonight yeah it was um uh it might have been yeah no. the senators was yeah it tonight? yeah it was, it was tonight, tonight sorry yeah. So, uh, what do you know? The sins are emptying their bench after an empty netter again. Yeah. So <laughs> Chuck gets a little bit upset because someone has the temerity to put the uh, puck in the net. Well, the thing was, it was after the the horn. After the buzzer, yeah. Way after the horn. Way after, but he gets a little bit bent out of shape. Yeah. <laughs> but at least he didn't slap shot it in there. Come it's on. kind of the stoop. It. This is one of those things where it's kind of like baseball's stupid unwritten rules you know yeah. you don't you don't show off you don't bat flip that kind of crap Apparently. this is one that's still in hockey that i think is absolutely it's stupid nuts. all he did was just glide past it and yeah what does yeah. it matter but yeah to chuck it couldn't it, of course look at his face it's he's a face only a mother could slap i mean love <laughs> <laughs> Kachuk being a Kachuk. Yeah. Shocking. Exactly. Yeah, he's still good. But all he did was just kind of pass it and glide past. As somebody under says, under here says, Morgan Riley. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing. You can't hear it. But yeah. And drinking a big, <laughs> big glass of wine. <laughs> Morgan Riley's response. <laughs> but it's become a bit of a thing. This people getting pissed off with empty net stuff. It's... Uh, it's a trend. Yep. It's uh, a few times this year. Indeed. Um, what else? I got a couple more just to. Uh, well, and then we got to check in on our fantasy before we, we will. leave, too. I was waiting for tonight's games to finish off, as it were. This is uh, a Carl Leo Carlson goal. Nice goal for the Ducks against the Kraken. And so you see what he did there? I missed it. He passed, he kind of passed it behind himself. Through his oh, legs, yeah. he passed it through, through his, his own legs, legs to himself. Very nice. It's disconcerting. That you don't get to say that about the ducks very often. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we got a snow, hey, snow dub snow raid. raids. Hey, guys. Uh, good to see you all here. But yeah, it's kind of neat. He passes it through his own uh, his own legs to himself. That's... It could have been accidental, of course. <laughs> Still pretty cool. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe accidental. Um, oh, you're sharing your screen. I was just... I'm not actually transitioning it. I'm just getting something ready. Uh, and I got another one here, which is Seabass. Sebast Sebastian Aho. I was keeping this for, for WG, but he's not here tonight, but I'll play it anyway. This is uh, Seabass sticking the dagger right in the capital's chest. <laughs> Ding. Boom. That was for WG. Sorry you're not here, mate, but that one was for you. Does that one... Are the caps eliminated? No. Okay. Don't think so. I didn't think so. No, but it's still, it still... It did damage them somewhat. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they had a chance of winning. It was 2-2. Two -two. Uh, but yeah. Bam. Now the caps yeah. are outside of the wild card right now. No, they are, yeah, they're outside, but I, think, I don't think they're technically eliminated. No, but see, the caps have... The Caps and the Red Wings are tied at 82 points with 76 games played. The Flyers are one point ahead of them with 78 games played. So they've got two games in hand mm -hmm. on the second wild card spot and only one point behind them. So, yeah, chances are the Caps or the Red Wings can take that from the Flyers or even the Penguins could. Yeah. It's still crazy over there. I mean, the, it is. the Sabres like, no, and the Devils could it's also. Like, after you, <laughs> no, after you. Yeah. Uh, K. Roberts says he drives a Zamboni. Indeed. 
And what fun that must be, especially when you're crushing people under it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do have one more, which is um, I'm not sure how many goals he scored, but Owen uh, and I like Buffalo, so come on, I got to give, I got to do some Buffalo. Owen Tippett scoring a goal, another nice goal the other day. Oh, get heads up, we've did. See, it's not the audio that's get, we're getting the warnings for on YouTube. It's, it's obviously uh, just the video itself. Right. So, uh, yeah. You know, if the Flyers can't even beat Buffalo, so. <laughs> well, they did get one back, though, so 3 2. But that's a nice goal. Yeah. Pretty nice slapper from out there, out in the, uh, the blue line. Let's see that again. Kaboom! That was pretty neat from that angle. Nice. And that was it for me. That's from way downtown. Oh, God, yeah. Beautiful. You don't see too many of those now. So, nice goal. Owen Tippett. Right. Yeah. So, that's all I had. Yeah. But the uh, I've exhausted my clips for the week, so let's check out Fantasy. First of all, just check in on these yeah. games. Uh, and I'm assuming this has been kept up to date. I'll refresh. Uh, Oilers... 3-2 up against the Flames in the Battle of Alberta, Alberta, um, which I live in and couldn't care less. Um, <laughs> I'd be fine with Calgary taking that game. I would too. And in the other game, the Kings are 5-3 up against the Canucks with 4.24 left. So the balance of probabilities would suggest they're going to win. Yeah, but... You're in that danger zone with only a two-goal lead with uh, getting down to it's empty the, net time. It's the worst lead in hockey. Mm -hmm. So, to the fantasy. Some people are maxed out on games. I know that if we look at Tay, for instance, he is... Uh, he can still field the lineup, but none of the points count. That's on right, yes. Certain positions, if not all of the positions. Tay is now maxed out on centers, yeah. left wings, and right wings. He can play defense and goalie still. Yeah. You see, he can still play them, and he has a lot of space to play them. A lot of defense games left, 20 of them. Uh, but really, he's not going to be adding a lot of points, so... Nope. So let's look at the overall standings. Um, I am currently top. Yeah, yesterday was a big, game, or a big day for you and a really bad day for me. I think I handed you three and a half points. You had a bit of a nightmare in the goalie front. Yeah, I've... Uh, well, yeah, let's let's uh, take a look at my goalies yesterday. Um, this is last night's goalie starts. Bobrovsky. Or no, that's tonight. Uh, let's go to so Friday. Yeah. So I had Georgiev, who I have had in the lineup all year. So the Avs got absolutely blown out by Edmonton. He takes six goals against. Then I had picked up Logan Thompson. And Logan Thompson, um, going into the third period, the game was 3-1 Vegas. Yeah. He allowed six goals in the third period to end up losing that game. So, yeah. Save percentage for the night, 8-4-6. Oh, goals Jesus. against average, 6 0 one Absolutely oh, wow. destroyed a whole season's worth of work for goalies for me. Oh, dear. Because it moved the percentages way more than you would think it would at this point in the year. But it moved me like four points. Well, you would think so. On the goals against average. Generally, with those two, it's a very long cumulative effect. That was such a bad night, though. <laughs> yeah. So bad that getting a shutout tonight didn't do anything for me. Yeah. And I. So, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> so so that did kind of put me in and make in a better position uh, yeah well it moved you into first in save percentage and goals against average which were two that i was holding pretty well Over for most of the season overall points uh i'm on 47.5 mikey's 42.5 and you're 42 t's only going to keep going down and then bell a valiant struggle from bell but she's she's not quite making it and smoky is 
um, adrift at the bottom in a sea of um, mediocrity. What's up, man? Hey, good to see you, man. So nothing changed today, though, because yeah. it is now very little scope for any any change because it's a cumulative thing. So there are about five, five that are still up for grabs to some degree. If you yeah. go back to the season totals, um, so the plus minus, there is still some possible movement in there. Not a lot um, between the top three. Uh, not not much is going to happen there. But power play points. Look at everybody's power play points, and if you want to um, filter those. So from top to bottom, it's only 22 difference. Well, T was and on the top. from, yeah. yeah, from me and you to getting at least to Bell, very possible. Yeah, so that's a three a or four of... point swing in power play points that's possible. Yeah, there's a range of eight between Bell and me. T's only going to go down, so... Well, Tay will stay the same, most likely, unless he gets some defenders getting well, in on the power play. Yeah. Others will go above him in terms of the uh, points for that category. Yep. So that's that's going to be the big spoiler um, place where anything can be made up. Uh, wins, goals against average, and save percentage are also going to be the other places where we can possibly still see some movement. Yeah, so wins, I got 85. Night Grimmon. Like he's 82. Hey, good night, Grimmon. Thanks for being here, buddy. Um, wins, yeah, they could change. Uh, I I should have had nine shutouts, but I left a goalie on the bench by mistake that got a shutout. So I lost a win and a shutout. I am still angry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I I pulled in a I pulled in Simeon Varlamov this morning, yeah. and they were playing Nashville, and I was thinking, well, Varlamov, you know he. He might help the save percentage based on, you know, from yesterday. It's like, can't get any worse. And Verlamov comes in and throws the shutout against Nashville tonight. So that mm -hmm. got me to the 10th shutout, which gives me a little bit of light in between you and Mikey because you got to get two to catch me now. I know, and I should have had nine, though. My wife said, would you shut up about that? Because I've been <laughs> wondering about it. <laughs> what are you doing, you stupid idiot? The funny thing is, I had him playing in my other league. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was all Mark. I was like, what am I doing? Uh, well, a couple yeah. nights ago, I I uh, thought one of my goalies had the check mark, and no, it was the backup. And <sighs> that was in a game where I have both of the goalies, so I could have gotten the other one in. And the puck hadn't dropped yet, yeah. but it it had already locked up. So, but save percentage is another where it's very close. I mean, you're not going to see a ton of movement in those numbers because well, of the time of the season that we're in. But you could if could. Uh, somebody gets blown up for 10 freaking goals or six well, exactly. <laughs> or yeah. two of your goalies, too. <laughs> it's very rare that anyone goes above 9.912. I may have reached 0.913 right now, but 9.11, 9.12 is usually the best you yeah, can get. Yeah, top it. of it. Yep. Yeah. The uh, goals, it's possible if my players maxed out and collapsed a bit that I could be caught on goals, but well, smoke, uh, goals against average. I was at a two five eight yesterday, and cl climbed all the way to a two point six two from that uh, outstanding performance from my two yesterday. Yeah. It moved me three hundredths of a point, which were that's hard to do. <laughs> I think I'm probably going to finish top on hits by a distance, likely shots. Uh, it's pretty the spread is such that I don't think it's going to change anything well that's also one where you can get sometimes 30 or 40 in a night if you've got a whole bunch of games going true Plus, minus. so that one can still swing quite a bit because like Mike. tonight I had 20 shots on goal and it's 15 possible, hits possible there could be quite a change in plus minus in some respect as well but uh it's it's now getting to the point where there's very little scope for change. Yeah. Yep. What's most important, I think, then is managing the number of games that you're going to have, because if you look at my merry crew, and I've already made a change today to try and compensate because I am 
close to being maxed out on centers and left wing. Right. So I've already dropped a left winger, a good one today. If anyone's looking for one. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> and <laughs> when I've maxed those four left wing games out, which will happen pretty quick now, I'm going to have to. You can. You have to keep two because you've always got to have two in the lineup. Any others, I'm going to try and get rid of. So, uh, Who'd you get rid of, Ovechkin? Yes. Yeah, well, he's on waivers until the 8th. I got rid of him, yeah. Because yeah. um, it might be for the last two or three games they can squeeze in an extra couple of defensor, defenders or goalie, maybe, you know. Yeah. But you'd have to be pretty, because it, yeah, it's not like... Uh, it's... So your centers and lefts are in trouble. My right wing and left wing, I think, are in trouble. Yeah. However, it's getting quite quite interesting, because it, it will come well, down to the last day, probably. Yeah, there's only 12 days left in the season. Yeah. The 18th is the end of the season. Yeah. So, uh, final score... Kings six, Canucks three. So that works. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, I have no problem with that. In the battle for the top of the Western Conference. Yeah. Fine uh, to have the fine. Canucks Absolutely. go down. Absolutely. Oilers are still three two up against the Flames. Uh, if the standings have reflect that, which they may not, looking at the West. I don't want to see the East. Christ. What's up, Jacob? Uh, looking at the West, Stars are still on top despite today's bizarre performance. Canucks second, but equal with Colorado in points. And all now, and all top, top four have all played the same number of games now. Yep. Which hasn't always been the case. We've always been a game or two ahead. Yeah, uh, and then Edmonton's two games behind all of us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there concerned. it is. Yep. It's going to be a uh, battle that comes all the way down to the last couple games. Yes. So good And evening. that could also be the battle for the league, too. I mean, for the President's Trophy. It, yeah. I don't think that, that. I don't think it's a particularly exciting battle now for the. I mean, there's very few remaining positions to be crossed off. It's more who's going to finish top of each conference who's going to finish top of the league so yeah uh good evening to salty as well so good evening jacob good evening salty good evening peter vinkman good evening marcus all the uh, good Snow evening but i think we're also we're out of stuff for the night we're at we an hour and a half stuff. and uh we've shown all the clips we can we have snow, um, snow I, went a little bit long tonight huh yes that's what she said so we could play. We could try just to do for a commercial or two. One more advertisement, uh, because you've all been so patient, and I'm assuming that the volume will play. Though it did on the last one, didn't it? Yes, but that was sharing a video that we already had uploaded, didn't it? No, the Bob and Doug McKenzie did that play okay. I think so. Right. So I'll play another one to reward you all. We're the McKenzie brothers, eh? How's it going? Our topic today is the beauty shot. Yeah, look how beautiful it is. Look at that head. Mm, it's making me kind of thirsty right now. Hey, you can't drink beer on TV, eh? It's illegal. Okay, fine. Cut. He drank the beer. Is that a problem? No way. It evaporated. And I'm still thirsty. Go! We're going to get sued, eh? What'd you go and drink the beauty shot for? To me, there's nothing more beautiful than an empty glass, eh? Yeah, and I get to be the designated driver. Cut! Good thing we have nowhere to go, eh? Cut! Uh, Bob and Doug. Lovely. And in honor of you uh, dropping him today to the waiver line, we'll do one last, one last commercial. We'll do an OV. No one ever got better at hockey by bowling. More practice for you. <laughs> Show your commitment. <laughs> Ovi, he's still greatest the best. actor in the league. 
Yeah, best actor <laughs> in the league for sure. <laughs> I still we'll play it again during the playoffs, but I still love that uh, All Star game when that uh, when he orders all the food. Yep. <laughs> to all the. Uh... It's, it's put it under the name of Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> Sends it to the other room. What's up, Snowdub? Snowdub, good to see you, buddy. Yeah, we're we're wrapping up for the night now. Next week, there will be no show, or at least we think there'll be no show. There will likely be no show. There will likely be no show. We will we both have... be in Vegas, but yeah. uh, don't know that we're setting up to actually do a show or have the time to uh, pull all the clips and everything else. Um, we might do a couple while of we're shorts. doing all the Vegas stuff. Yeah, we might do a couple of shorts. You never know. But we might, uh, yeah, we might go live for a couple minutes from uh, from the game on Sunday night, That's just right. to if the Wi-Fi is okay. If the Wi-Fi is good enough at the arena, yeah. which in Vegas it very well might be, we might uh, go live on our channels for a couple we, minutes and show our seats for the game and stuff. Exactly. We'll keep you all informed and updated about that because we're going to see a game so. in Vegas. And and I've got to decide if I'm going to see. The avalanche and stars tomorrow, or send my daughters and uh, let them pretend like they're uh, being gifted a game instead of it being a favor to me to not have to go at 8 p.m. to so, Denver and back. <laughs> can I just tell you what will happen? If you go, the stars will win. If you don't go, they will lose. Maybe I won't send the daughters either then. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so we're in Vegas next week, but we'll be back at the regular time the week following. Of course, we'll be, um, well, the playoffs may have started by then. Mm. No, they'll be the week after. They'll start, they won't start until but we'll the have week after. The regular season recap can be done. We'll then. have final standings, we'll have matchups to discuss, and. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the end of our fantasy league. We will Indeed. have our champion at that point. Indeed, because that will be over. So, yeah, thanks everybody for being here. My apologies for some sound issues, which I'm about to just uh, throw my uh, laptop into the ground and jump up and down on it, <laughs> because that usually fixes things, I believe, in the technical world. So, Did you but, try unplugging it? Uh, <laughs> did you switch it on and off? Hey, I used to be in IT, so yeah. <laughs> But we will. I'll have those sorted. Although it doesn't really matter now, because you know I don't have another show for. Yeah, for, for a while. Because <laughs> I don't have a show on my channel Monday. What? But, uh, but what have you got coming up? Uh, anything before we go to Vegas, mate? Or apart from Monday night comics? But... Yeah, comics Monday night meltdown, and I don't think we're doing a party animal stream. Uh, I think uh, in place of the party animal stream, Imperatus. Probably Mad, Slender, and Little Chad are going to do a Helldiver stream to take up that time slot that uh, we normally play party animals because mm. I've got to be at the airport at like 5 a.m. on Wednesday, totally so spooks. I'm not staying up playing the games yeah. Tuesday night. I'll Although I'll still probably end up staying up. But yeah, I'm landing at about 8.45 on Wednesday and I oh, uh, can't check into the room until 4, so got to figure out something to do all you day wanna, well you can come over and hang out in my room if you want um yeah, that's yeah. trust me I <laughs> trust me i'll keep my hands off you don't worry well the, uh, wife will the be strippers there too. might be something else though they might not, they might be all over the you. wife may not appreciate that <laughs> my wife i don't I'm know about your wife <laughs> i'm scottish i'm too tight to pay for that shit <laughs> right uh, I'm not but I'll be at uh, I'll be at both meetups, so look for my smoking jacket. I'll be pretty easy to spot because I'll be sweating up a storm. And oh, geez, yeah. I think I'm going with the blue smoking jacket on Wednesday and the uh, the maroon one on uh, Thursday night. That's right. As Smokey says my room will be gas free. I'm not sharing with culture, so I will be completely methane free. Yep. And then I may be on the. Uh, I think I'm probably going to go over to uh, the podcast, uh, Salty Nerd Podcast, and do a shag show that's normally on Wednesday. I think we're going to do it on Thursday right before the, the meetup, so you might catch me there. <laughs> didn't say the bookers would be female. <laughs> they could be ovine, for all you know. Sorry, what was that about shags? You're doing that when? Uh, Thursday before the meetup, I think we're going oh, over right. to the Salty Nerd Podcast and uh, do... Uh, do a quick uh, midweek hump on Thursday oh, nice. with, with that crew. And since I'm on there, you know, two two weeks out of the month, uh, I guess I'll probably go and join them for that. Good. So. Good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow I'll be on the shit list with uh, Mead. 
I'm going to do that tomorrow. Not sure if there's a culture show or not. Have not heard. No. Uh, Monday, not doing a regular show on Monday. My channel, I might do a radio show and rumble just to <clears throat> play some tunes because I don't have to prep for a full-on show, which is great. A little holiday for me. And Monday night on Comics Division, and then I'm flying out on Tuesday to Vegas. So I will be at the Film Threat uh, meetup. God knows. Yeah, I didn't hear about that one until I had already had my tickets. I, booked, I so I'll be there, but I'll do. I'll be doing um, a few shorts. I'll just do some shorts from Vegas. I'm not planning cool. to do anything other than meetups and Dix Division type stuff. So awesome. So, it's well, real. Everybody have a great night. Uh, we will see you in a couple weeks, uh, yeah. if not on other streams. Yeah, and thank you for being here tonight, everybody. Good, good, uh, good crew in the chat tonight. Indeed, so. everybody Wang Chung tonight. Happy night, everybody. Wang Chung. <laughs> <laughs>